Hello everyone, so this is our Serum Design Project for Drone Remote Recharging. Group members Theodore Pelle, Benjamin Johnson, and Warku Tifara. Our project application is to improve the drone economy, like delivery, research tracking and recording, and automated systems. Some project goals we plan on completing were the reusable power source, um, portability, as well as an automatic system where the drone would fly itself back to the pad. To help with our automatic system of returning the drone back to the pad, we found applications with their own precision landing system, such as the Q Ground Control, the Fly T Now, and the DJI Fly App. For our project, we're going to be using the DJI Fly Apps returning to home point function. So here's how our charging pad will look. We have the QI transmitter and the battery pack. So this is the charging pad video. Before we go on and show you the pad, we're going to show you what's inside of it. We have the battery bank and the QI transmitter connected together. Um, the QI transmitter shows that it's charging when it's blue. And then idle, it turns green. So the battery itself does show its energy levels on the side here. Um, it also holds up to 30,000 milliamps per hour. So you can see everything here is very small and can be easily replaced or taken outside of the box. So here we have the box itself um, with laser cut wood sent from Sen Cut Send, um, constructed together by Benjamin Johnson. Um, so together the base itself is held together with magnets at the bottom. Um, so if you just shift it off center a little bit to the left, um, it kind of comes off easily. Uh, again, the battery bank and the QI transmitter are held together by Velcro. Um, and here you can see the magnets on the bottom as well as on the base. Um, here I'm going to show you, um, take apart the QI transmitter. Um, the battery here is already disconnected. And then after I take it off, I'm going to have a quick cut um, back to placing it together again. There we go. All right. Now the, the base here, stick it by Velcro, and then connect the magnets together. And there we go. It's assembled. And then we have the size comparison. Um, it's close to a water bottle. It weighs around 3.16 pounds. And here we have the drone with the QI receiver attached at the bottom of it. So here is what we ideally would have with the drone. It would land on top of the QI and transmitter in place of the QI receiver. Um, here I'm showing off the QI receiver on, on the bottom of the drone. Uh, it's attached together with tape. And then in this video, I'm showing that the drone is being charged um, with the QI receiver attached. And then here, you can see it turns from green and then into blue. Next up will be our demo video with the charging pad and the drone outside. All right, so here's gonna be a demonstration video. Um, just a walking around the charging pad with the drone on top of it, just to give you an, an idea of how it would look. Um, now I'm having the drone fly off. And now we'll switch over to drone view with the Vegas strip in the background. Just to see what it will look like. And then now we have the drone itself returning. Um, it was a windy day. So having the drone light itself and also doing it manually was very difficult. Um, so there's going to be some awkward cuts. I did have some fun with it, so um, that'll come later. Here I'm just trying to capture the QI receiver that's underneath the drone, just to show that it's still attached to it and that it's secured. All right, and then here are the awkward cuts of it landing. Alright, hope you enjoyed the show.